Here's an exciting unboxing video of the Amazon Fire HD6. In my opinion, the best tablet under $100 on the market. Let's get started with the review. I bought this tablet out of pure curiosity to see what Amazon has been doing lately. I was pleasantly surprised, and I can't wait to share with you what I've got today. Opening the box first, you will see that Amazon has included a USB wall brick a micro USB cable and the instruction manual to get to know your Amazon Fire HD6. Like any other wall rick, it's pretty simple. It's 5 watts, it's very small and it's very compact and it looks very sleek and it'll blend in with anything and it's not too flashy. It's basically all you want in a wall brick. The cable is nice and sturdy and I very much appreciate Amazon putting one in their HD box. Here's everything you get in the box, minus the tablet. You won't really need to get into your fire because it's pretty simple. Here's the tablet itself. It's a 6 inch display and it honestly looks beautiful. I got the cyan color and it looks amazing. I thought it would look cheesy, but really it looks amazing. Now let's get to the specifications. The front facing is a VGA camera plus and the back camera is a 2 megapixel. We have power buttons on the sides which are very tactile and honestly I'm enjoying them way more than I thought they would. I thought they would be cheap. The bottom we have our power button, then we have our plug, and this tablet is meant to be used in the portrait mode. And on the top we do have our 3.5mm headphone jack. This tablet is a little bit on the thicker side but it's extremely palmable and very useful for on the go use. I absolutely am loving it so far. And the power button fits perfectly when you're grasping it like that, so I'm easily turning it on and off. For $100, this tablet really puts everything in it. The screen size is 6 inches, as I said before, and the resolution is 1280 by 800 and has a quad-core processor up to 1.5 gigahertz, and is a Dolby Audio with one speaker and a built-in microphone. It comes in two storage variants in 8 or 16. I have the 16, and it weighs 290 grams. For $100, this is by far the best tablet you can get for this price point. I would highly recommend it for anything. Games run awesomely on this, such as intensely games like Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, and simple games like Bagot. If you want to see a top 10 app video, leave a comment down below. On the home screen, you will see things such as shop, games, app, books, music, video, and much, much more. The Kindle Fire includes loads of content for you to use at your command, and Fire OS 4 makes this way easier. You also get special offers if you scroll to the end. And you also have a spotlight search like Apple does, so you can search for things you want as an ease. Another cool feature is it is a swipe keyboard as much of you are used to for Android fans and for iOS 8 fans. It doesn't work that well, but it's a nice feature to have if you're used to the swiping feature. I honestly didn't believe how small this tablet once, but when I put it up to my iPhone 6, I realized how small it was. When you're playing an awesome game like Grand Theft Auto, you don't realize the small compactness of it, and that's the great thing about this tablet. The layout Fire OS 4 brings is honestly amazing. It is sleek and very easy to navigate comparing to the other application stores we know and love like Google Play and the ever so famous iTunes App Store. The other great thing about this is Amazon Coins. Amazon Coins is by far the greatest feature Amazon has made. You can purchase coins for a discounted deal to buy apps and games. From all of the tablets I've ever had, this is by far one of the best. Matching up with the iPad Mini, iPad Mini 3, Samsung Galaxy Note, and much, much more, this is by far in my top 5. The compactness and the screen resolution for a 6 inch tablet is absolutely stunning. If Amazon can make a $99 tablet with some awesome specifications, why can't other companies? I strongly believe other companies should take a look at Amazon and take a hint or two. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more coverage of the Amazon 
RHD6, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you all in the next one.